I got a set right up here, Matt. Let's take a look. It's a little baited leg hold set. Hey, good. The trap's gone. It went down the slide wire. Here, hold my hand for a second and give me. I'm gonna get to that drowning stick. Pull that up. Get this stake out of here. A drowning stake and. Hey, holy, whoa, man. Hind foot catch, look at the size of that beaver. I tell you, the northern part of the state grows them big. Holy cow, yeah. Nice drowning catch, deep water. Get him up there, Matt. Woo, there we go, bud. All righty, there's one of them for you. Yeah, yeah he fell for the old baited set. A little, yeah, number four did the job. I'll haul him up there, Matthew. I know he's heavy, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and reset this. Get the sliding lock so that it works. I'm going to go ahead and push that sliding bar down in there again. Okay, now, Matt, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to remake this the right way, okay? What we want to do with the beaver. Because understand that these beaver have a small foot on them, and they can ring that off sometimes so we want to drown them really quick and we want to catch them by the hind foot if we can okay if it's possible so what we do is we take this number four is what dad likes to use and we put it right here and i i like to put about three or four inches of water over the trap and make it sure it's on a ledge it's bedded good so the beaver can just climb right up on that and get caught all right now i'm just going to put some mud up on the bank i'll let you go ahead and re-lure that why don't you go ahead and get a stick and stick it in the, the beaver lure there and throw some of that, okay, that dad put there. There you go, throw that right, there you go, Blin. Okay, that's great. Now grab another little bit and, and just touch the water with it and I'll show you what happens here. It's a real neat way to bring beaver in. See how that skims on the water? It just spreads out, it's kind of neat, isn't it? And what that does is it just goes down the creek and the beaver, when they smell that, they can come right over, leave the stick right in there, just poke it right in, there you go. Just poke it right in, poke it right down in. There you go. Boy, that beaver will come up and just try to get right in that. This is really neat being out with my boy Matt, and it kind of chokes this old boy up. It's just kind of neat to think of my forefathers out here with their hip boots on or whatever they had in those days, I guess, but trapping beaver. And I love to get out too, and I just hope that future generations can also trap for the beaver and other species. It's just a neat experience. To, and I think everybody should make a point to take a youngster with them trapping. Take your boy, uh, take your kin, take the next door neighbor's son or daughter, whatever, and get them out and show them this. They just eat it up. It's really neat, isn't it, Matt? Put him in the conibear.